Okay, ready to go? So today we're headed to Clinton Hill to photograph an apartment for Terrell and Enziata at Time Equities. Pretty simple trip. We're going to just catch the sea to Lafayette Avenue and uh, find some coffee. I don't know if I'm supposed to be at the front or the back. So in those cases, I will stand in the middle. I'm kind of annoyed because if I had done my research, I would have known which stop is closer if I were to take the A train, but I only looked at the C train. Let's find out when the C train is coming. Three minutes for the C train. How much would you pay me to drink that? So we're gonna turn left on the cab and check out a coffee shop. However, it is raining and um, not so much worried about the rain in terms of the photo shoot as I am in terms of my um, Osmo Pocket 3 not being waterproof. Hopefully we'll be okay. So we are in Clinton Hill, which uh, is pretty famous for its brownstones. I mean, look at these buildings. They're like gorgeous, perfectly maintained. I don't know if you can see how like gorgeous all of the ironwork is. Big windows full of plants. It's kind of perfect. Hey Terrell, comma, good morning, exclamation point. I'm actually in the neighborhood, comma, grabbing some coffee, period. I'll see you in a bit, exclamation point. So I am firing my producer because he picked that coffee shop, which is actually the opposite direction of where I need to be for the photo shoot. I fucked up. Oh no. Hi. What's going on? This is my photography. Hi. Our photography. You, I actually yeah. think if you're showing the windows, then yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's, I'm seeing windows. Right. It's not a bad shot. I think given the context of the room, it's fine. And you see the window, like there's a reference to the windows. I think in the grand scheme of things, this is, this is gonna work. Right. Thank you, Bill. It was nice meeting you. All right, sir. Yeah. This is where I leave you. You'll have everything tomorrow. Thank you. So that's a wrap on that shoot. So I am headed back to bed -Stuy. I have a 4 p.m. appointment with my therapist, and then I'm gonna reach out to my friend who's visiting from Nashville to see if he wants to have dinner with me. So that's the rest of my day. So I have nine minutes to kill. I kind of feel like I could have walked home in nine minutes. Whatever. We need to be at the front of the train. While I was at today's shoot, I got booked for a shoot for tomorrow. So I am happy about that. So it's only 2 p.m. and it's like um, 41 degrees out. 
So my guess is that tofu will not be out, which is fine. He deserves to be able to be out as long as he's warm. Hey, mister. Look at this guy. You're happy to be out today, huh? So I am not gonna be bringing tofu in right now, which is fine. Got to see him. He does not look like he's coming in. Oh. Maybe he is coming in. Tofu, are you coming in? You coming in? Come on. Let's go. So today we're going to talk about, not today, so now we're going to talk about my photo shoot with Terrell and Nunziata, who's an agent at Time Equities. This was a lot of fun, and this was a lot of fun because I generally don't get to shoot older homes like this. You know, at, the, at my price point, I tend to get booked for luxury real estate, which is like these super high-end homes where everything's painted white, but it's got an amazing view. And I don't get booked often for older homes that are well lived in. When I say well lived in, I'm talking about like 40 years that they've lived in their apartment. So this guy's house was just definitely personal. There were a lot of things that we just couldn't move and we just couldn't get out of the shot. We just accepted that this was the space and then this is what we were gonna shoot. The cellar was super nice, but you'll see the apartment is very, you could say cluttered. I'm gonna say, well lived in. Let's look at some pictures. So this is our living room shot. This was the exposure for the exterior. This was the exposure for the interior. And then this was the combined delivered shot. The guy, he lived his whole life in this apartment. All we wanted to do was make sure that you could see, you know, the physical characteristics of the place. I like it. I actually like it. This is the same living room, different angle. Terrell's all about different angles of the same rooms, which is fine. That's our exterior exposure. That's our interior exposure. And then that is our delivered shot. This is the kitchen. And the kitchen had a lot going on. But like, we didn't even see the need to remove the magnets off the fridge because it was like, okay, if we remove the magnets off the fridge, like, are we gonna just stop with the magnets? We just kept it as is, including his you know, his shopping list. It's cute. That's our top exposure. That's our middle exposure. That's our bottom exposure. And then that's the delivered shot. Yeah, there's a lot going on there. But like, where would you start decluttering this? It's not like it was full of Amazon shipping boxes. This was fine. So this is the hallway that, I don't know how to explain it. It kind of goes into the kitchen, into another hallway, looking into a smaller room, like the, t the sitting room, a TV room. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. It's it almost like it was supposed to be the dining room, but they got rid of the dining room and turned it into like an like a family room or a TV room. I don't know how you describe this type of thing. But uh, that's our exterior exposure. That's our interior exposure. That's our delivered shot. And you can see we like photoshopped things that like shouldn't have been there. Window guards that were just laying on the floor. We didn't try to make this anything it wasn't, I guess is what I'm trying to say. This is a bedroom, and that's our exterior shot, that's our interior shot, and then that's our delivered shot. And then this is another bedroom, that's our exterior shot, that's our interior shot, and that's our delivered shot. I really do appreciate being able to photograph this. It was fun for me. I think it's really interesting to see older people's apartments, the stuff that they collect throughout their lives. It really meant a lot to me for whatever reason. I know it sounds strange, but it was fun. It was interesting. The seller was super sweet. And what was funny is that while I was posting onto my Instagram account, cause I generally photograph things on my phone when I'm on a shoot and I, um, you know, post them to my Instagram stories. Agents were actually asking me where this was because they had clients that were looking to move into this neighborhood. From what I understand, it's in contract already. It was uh, 
not something that was going to sit around. So I'm super excited for Terrell, super excited for the seller. It was a good shoot.